As we move into a new time, into a new decade, what I need you to do is stop allowing your insecurities, stop allowing your personal issues to ultimately become your identity as a woman, right? So just because you don't feel like you're good enough doesn't mean that that's who you are. Stop allowing those insecurities to be the definition in which you rise from. You got to remember that you are from the great I am, which is God. So I am, whatever comes after I am is what you are. So we got to stop allowing our childhood issues, our relationship issues, our parenting issues, our financial issues to ultimately become the labels and the identity that we place on ourselves as women. Because there's so much more to you than those issues. There's so much more to to you than the insecurities that you may have been carrying for years and that's okay like give yourself permission to carry that thing but don't allow it to define who you are as a woman right instead I need you to reframe that and you figure out what comes after the I am and you define who you are not based on the negative things that you're going to use to negate who you are or the things that you have been thinking about for years that you're not good enough that you might be rejected that nobody is ever going to want you or love you in the way that you desire or that you deserve or you're never going to make enough money to do x y and z or you're never going to get your house or you're never going to be able to achieve or accomplish the things that you desire and you deserve as long as you operate in the insecurities and you're operating in the issues you're always going to convolute the identity the true identity that you really have been called to so instead I want to prefer for you to be intentionally cultivating and creating the identity that really matters most to you. That means doing the deep inner healing work that is required of deeply going through and pulling back the layers, taking off the mask that you wear, putting away the representative you put out for people to see, including your social media persona, including, you know, the hair, the makeup, the wigs, all that. Get to your naturalist state. It's about you getting naked with yourself. It's about you getting vulnerable vulnerable with yourself enough and my hope is that as we move into this next year we move into this next decade that you will be able to get naked enough with yourself at every single level that you can sit and come face to face with what actually are your finances face to face what debt are you actually in not the persona you're putting on social media that you're flying here and doing this and doing that but what does that actually looks like if we get to the root of it and then if we're thinking about self-love body image and so on if we take off the wigs the makeup we pull out the natural hair we pull out your natural beauty your natural body and things of that nature who are you at your who are you at your core if you take away all your titles a mom and and wife and sister and all these things who are you at your core you are i am blank 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 so you define who you're going to be, not allowing your insecurities to define that, not allowing your financial issues, your personal issues, your mommy and daddy issues to define who you ultimately are. Because you can say, oh, I'm a motherless child. And maybe that is true in a sense, but you don't have to claim that identity. Who are you really at your at your core, right? Are you love? Are you worthy? Are you power? right? Are you fierce? Like who are you at the bare core? And I want you to think about that as we move into this next decade, right? And figuring out who are you going to be when you walk out of the house? Who are you when you wake up in the morning? Who are you when no one else is around? And thinking about what are the thoughts that I have when nobody else is around me? And it's just me and it's just God or it's just me and it's just the solitude of the moment. Who are you? And then you got to work to be at peace with her.